Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Sma. My name is Sma. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. And if you are new, please subscribe to the channel. Let's grow together. Um, back with another recipe and we are making beef stew. I think the ingredients speak for themselves. And I'm just going to do a quick run through of the ingredients as per usual. But the exact measurements will be listed in the description together with all the ingredients. I have some beef. It's just normal cubed stewing beef. I've sprinkled some flour to help with the browning process when you start frying the beef. And I have some potatoes. I have some green peppers and onions, just diced green peppers, sliced onions. And I have some carrots, some garlic. I have some spices here, just paprika, um, turmeric, some mixed dried herbs, but the exact spices and measurements will be in the descri description box sorry for that um, I also have some salt and pepper I have some oil um, we're going to use the, just a bit of oil for frying I also have some stock I've dissolved two cubes of stock in boiling water um, I need it to be liquid so that it's easier to kind of blend the stock and I'm going to move over to the stove just to start with the cooking process and the audio will return back to normal. Okay, I'm at the stove right now and I'm using this big cast iron pot. My oil is already hot enough for me to put the beef in and I'm just going to
so the stew is basically almost done and um, the vegetables are cooked and the meat is tender now the broth is still a little thin so what i'm going to do i'm just going to mix up a little roux um just to kind of thicken the sauce up and we don't we don't want a thin thin um broth so we're just going to thicken it up a bit and it'll be ready The stew is done and let's see. Voila. Look at that. All right. The vegetables are cooked perfectly. They're not mushy. They're not all broken up. They still held their shape. And the meat is tender. And you also have your sauce and it's not very thin it's not very thick so this is what you want to look out for and another reason why i did not add my vegetables at the beginning was mainly for that reason i don't want to cook the vegetables to death <laughs> so i usually add, just add the vegetable when i feel the meat is tender enough and the last water would be i'd be using the last I'd be boiling it, the meat for the last time basically so yeah that's why I added them when I added them and yeah this is it guys so I'm just going to dish that up right so this is very 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 flavorful um, you'll get the exact measurements in the description so that you know exactly which spices I've used and uh, how much of that I've used just take note of a few things on making this especially when you're using the beef stock it has a lot of salt on its own so you want to just add a little salt at a time you know just you don't want you can put more salt in but you can't take it out so just to just be sure that you just be sure that you take it easy on the salt right just to your taste and that is pretty much it guys um try out the recipe let me know how it goes leave me a comment in the comment section and also please remember to subscribe if you haven't already like the video share and until the next video, stay safe.